I'd like to answer a question which loose women discussed. Does being nice work? Yes. And I agree with Colleen when she talks to a person and that she would much rather leave the person with the impression Colleen was a nice lady. Like Katie is a nice woman. Um, yes, being nice does work. A lot of people will actually say, come off it, you can say what you think, or be a bit a rut, but I'd much rather people thought of me as a nice person compared to people who are very abrasive and it's just that you are actually highly thought of as well because if you handle yourself in a nice kind manner People remember that and they think, do you remember the time when this and this happened? This girl could have easily lost her temper, lost her bag. But how she handled the situation was quite nicely done. Um, because it's not in my nature to be mean and nasty and I have moments where I do come out with what I think in front of friends and family and people say oh we can't say that but it's not with malicious intent because at times it's kind of um, putting your foot in it before you think that has actually been my trouble and then at times I've been ex it's actually been explained to me like when you said x y and said this person took it a different way completely and then if I think about it I'm thinking oh, yeah, I suppose it could have been taken that particular way but, it, but I never meant nothing by it I've never you know and in that sense I have got away with it because if I am given the opportunity to explain and talk, you know, of what I thought of the situation at the moment in time, that person can understand my thought process. So in an actual fact, even, even though they've perhaps taken it a different way, I've actually really come at it in a good place um, and being nice does work especially in um, harshest circumstances like say for example I go to a restaurant and the table in front is complaining 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 and say for example if somebody has given me a lasagna that's burnt probably wouldn't say anything I would just eat what I could but if it really bothered me that much I would you know ask for it to be sent back and um, you know just handle things differently as opposed to some person would say oh it's burnt and my hips are cooked and you know 
who would perhaps kick off about it or <laughs> it was like uh, for example I used to live in the flat and um, and for a long time all day long I think I'd heard bang after bang after bang after bang uh, somebody was moving in and no one had told anybody because it is common courtesy and I think I just got to the point where I was sick and tired of hearing it over and over again so I went down the stairs and I was going to complain I was really angry at the time um, thinking oh this, this person is you know really annoying that this person hasn't even told us that they are getting worked or well, because it's disrupting it's the rest of us. So I came down the stairs, knocked on the door, the door opened, and I was like a completely different person. I was like, oh, um, excuse me, excuse me, I hear, I hear that you've actually moved in. Um, it's actually a little loud. How long is the work going to be going on for so that I have some sort of idea? And they were ever so nice to me because I was ever so nice to them. It's just not really in my nature to be um, angry to other people. Um, yeah, so I do think being, being nice helps you to get a better response of other people instead of people going, oh, she's a right clumpy so-and-so and, oh, you know, no, 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 she's in a mood, just leave this person alone. I, you know, and... It's actually talked about that nice people have actually tempers and the reason I say this is because nice people will tolerate stuff and they'll tolerate it and tolerate it and tolerate it and then they eventually they have to have a blowout and half the time it's some at home like a mom or a dad or your partner um, because we all get angry and it has to come out but um, I think there's being nice and there's being too nice being a format I think that people need to uh, establish a little bit of a own that we can actually say what we think or um, it's how you say it it's how you deliver it across to the next person like say I can't think now but here's another example this is this is uh, well quite bad on my part. I always listen to music when I lived at my flat, it, and it never bothered no per day. And then the one day, um, uh, I had a knock on the door, and it was actually uh, this woman from next door they'd actually moved in with a baby and I'm thinking and as soon as she actually told me she has a baby she's trying to get, get the baby off the seat could I just turn it off or turn it down and I think for me I was like oh my gosh I'm ever so sorry I would just turn it off completely and that is an example of how um, karma in fact works because I think if 
you're nice to people, you can we get a nice answer and reply back? Whereas if you go in there all in a temper or angrily, um, then things just oh, you know, don't work out that great. Um, and um, yeah, I do think being nice works. It really does work. But at the same time, don't be a pushover. You gotta, you have got to learn to speak up for yourself when it really matters. Like, for example, that I've given you gone to, um, you know, the restaurant to the lasagna is burnt. You know, as long as you, you can handle that in a nice, respectful way, as opposed to to kick off about it nobody would really have a problem occasionally yes you do get some sods who are in a tempo who take their anger out on you and that is just one thing that i just really hate but nine times eight or nine times out of ten you do get a positive response back